kitchen. Um, so this isn't something that we are really testing. So we got pieces of the, the sacrificial phone family. make sure everything's still intact. We could see while they're inflated everything looks good. We did some panels um, in the canopies themselves that were, that were torn. Um, our last test, our CQT41, that was a very stressing test on these main parachutes. We hit them really hard with the highest dynamic pressure that they could see in flight. And we actually tore through some panels. Um, so we could see that in our video when we were reviewing. Um, that's expected, um, especially when we're really reaching the limits of our requirements. Um, we can expect to see some of that damage. How did you feel when you walked out here? What was like your emotional response? To, like... It was amazing seeing uh, the main chutes inflated on the ground. Uh, the people walking up to cut the uh, risers here, you really get a sense of the scale. Like I mentioned, we can see them on a table, um, but they're all bunched up. We can see uh, videos, but you never really get a sense of scale of a person next to it. Um, so even when they're uh, 220 feet away, um, seeing the difference between you know, the height of a person, the height of the capsule, and these huge main parachutes inflated out in the distance is pretty awesome. We're going to test over with that EDO, but on that you're one step closer. Yeah, we're one step closer. So we got six more in our, our qual series. Um, still a lot of work to do. Um, particularly today, we're going to take these back to the uh, shakeout tower, um, get them ready for their trip back to California where we can do our full inspections, um, and then it's on to analyzing the data and getting ready for the next test. Awesome. So they make sure the, the person there. Oh, you're fine. Right <laughs> <laughs> Let's take measuring anything. Um, we're saving our avionics, saving all of our pyros. Um, first of all, so it's safe for the people like Jeff here to go massage the riser extension. I like that. Yeah, I do. Um, but also, uh, we want to save the avionics so that we can um, access the data um, for the next year, month, year. Um, so the, we've already gathered the data. The test is over. Now we're in the um, So now the goal is to try to recover these parachutes, um, doing as little damage as we can. So we're going to reuse these canopies. We won't reuse these riser extensions. Um, but the canopies themselves will go take to the shakeout tower, shake them out, um, get a first look at what kind of damage may have occurred, either in flight or on the ground. Um, and then they'll head back to California for a very thorough inspection of every little pick and pull of every thread and have a document out. Great, 
So these will not be used for the next test. We have um, right now two sets of parachutes that we're rotating through. So we have another set that's ready for our um, four, three tests, which is the next one. And these will be used again on our four, four tests. Um, the, uh, the parachutes for the actual Orion vehicle will not be redeemed. So we reuse these, obviously, for cost and schedule reasons. It's very expensive and it's a long time to build new sets of shoes. Um, something interesting, um, as a result of reusing the, these test parachutes, um, is we have reusable um, riser extensions, or actually, the canopy is reusable and replaceable riser extensions. So these pieces here, we'll build a new one of these for each shoe. Um, so we don't necessarily need to do that for the flight parachutes. They're, they're single use. We use them, they land in the ocean, um, we recover them, but we never use them again. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. So we'll use the same one um, for, I think, four of our next six. So we have six remaining tests in the fall series. Um, we have two more, I believe, with the dart and um, four with this capsule. So we'll get new foam for the pieces of foam that have broken off. Um, this is not a flight vehicle. These aren't flight materials. Um, so this kind of damage won't happen on the actual spacecraft. Every test, um, the foam's actually kind of sacrificial. It helps um, dampen the impact to uh, help save our ADM. Tomorrow morning we'll review all the video. Um, the parachute experts will look at it, uh, make sure we didn't see anything funny that raises alarm that would maybe prevent us from our next test. Um, we'll review the data over the pilot.